Hey everybody, Mel from Mel Booker Music here. Today we're going to take a look at just uh, basic guitar playing and we're going to do a series of these lessons for you guys. I had some requests to do just beginner stuff. We've got lessons on everything from sweep picking to um, um, substitutions with arpeggios and s scales and all that. So uh, I decided to go back and do a series of lessons for just beginner. What we'll be doing is we're going to take um, the whole beginning curriculum for basic rhythm guitar from learning the basic open chords to um, learning to play and read all the rhythms and uh, get you guys to where all the, the, the basics of being able to just grab the guitar and play some chords and do all your strumming will uh, be done uh, through these videos and you'll be able to go from start to finish to be able to get your foundation laid. So in this first video we're going to go through the chart with the open chords on it, uh, the download, there'll be a link to the download in the bottom of the video. Um, one of our students, Maddie, she's going to take you guys through that chart and teach you how to play all the chords. And once again, as always, if you guys have questions or anything, just give us a, a, a ring at the store. You can always um, uh, message me here on YouTube, message me on Facebook, which is Mel Booker uh, dash music and um, MySpace, Mel Booker Music. So we're all over the internet, you, you can find us. So uh, let us know what you guys have questions on, what you need to work on, and then uh, let's get good at playing guitar. So let's take a look. Maddie's going to take you guys through the basic open chords. close-up of the A chord. You put your first finger on the D string of the second fret, your middle finger on the G string of the second fret, and your ring finger on the B string of the second fret. This is an E chord. You put your middle finger on the A string of the second fret. You put your ring finger on the D string of the second fret, and you put your first finger on the G string of the first fret. This is a close-up of the E chord. You put your middle finger on the A string of the second fret. You put your ring finger on the D string of the second fret and your first finger on the G string of the first fret. This is the D chord. You put your first finger on the G string of the second fret and then you put your ring finger on the B string of the third fret and your uh, middle finger on the second fret on the E string. This is a close up of the D chord. You put your first finger on the G string of the first fret, or on the second fret. You put your ring finger on the B string of the third fret and your middle finger on the E string of the second fret. This is an A minor chord. You put your middle finger on the D string of the second fret. You put your ring finger on the G string of the second fret. And then you put your first finger on the first fret of the B string. This is a close-up of the A minor chord. You put your middle finger on the D string of the second fret, your ring finger on the G string of the second fret, and your first finger on the B string on the first fret. This is an E minor. 
minor chord. You put your first finger on the A string of the second fret and your middle finger on the D string of the second fret. This is a close up of the E minor chord. You put your first finger on the second fret of the A string and your middle finger on the D string of the second fret. This is a D minor chord. You put your middle finger on the G string of the second fret, your ring finger on the B string of the third fret, and your first finger on the E string of the first fret. close-up of a D minor. You put your middle finger on the G string of the second fret. You put your ring finger on the B string of the third fret. And you put your first finger on the first fret of the E string. This is a C chord. You put your ring finger on the A string of the 3rd fret. You put your middle finger on the D string of the 2nd fret. And then on the B string, you put your 1st finger on the 1st fret. This is a close-up of the C chord. You put your ring finger on the A string of the 3rd fret. Your middle finger on the D string of the second fret and then on the B string you put your first finger on the first fret. This is the G chord. You put your middle finger on the third fret on the E string. You put your first finger on the second fret of the A string. And then you put your ring finger on the E string of the third fret. This is a close up of the G chord. You put your middle finger on the third fret on the E string, your first finger on the A string of the second fret, and your middle finger on the E string of, or your ring finger on the E string of the third fret. This is an F chord. Put your ring finger on the D string of the third fret, your middle finger on the G string of the second fret, and then you bar with uh, the first fret with your first finger on the B and the E string. And if it's hard for you to bar, at least try to get the first three, the D, G, and B. This is a close-up of the F chord. You use your ring finger to on the D string of the third fret, and then you put your middle finger on the G string of the second fret, and then you bar with your first finger the B and the E string on the first fret. And if it's hard for you to bar with your first finger, at least try to get the D, G, and B strings.